Hi guys and welcome back and in today's video it's the first part of our videos from the NEC uh, show here in uh, 2019. So let's see what is coming up in today's episode. So guys this is the Adra Coral 670DC low profile motorhome uh, with a rear fixed island bed. Large uh, roof light over the top, some really beautiful cab seats, uh, two parallel lounges with a seat belt there, so it's actually a three belted seat van. Some really nice cream cupboards over the top, on gas struts, which is a brilliant feature. Hello! Hiya! Oh, got the Truma system on this van here. Uh, of this Continental van, so we've got ourselves a three burner hob. Uh, large sink in there with a really nice uh, stand there. Combined oven and grill. Uh, selection of cupboards there. We've got the Fetford fridge in there. Moving back, the, probably the biggest shower we've seen all day. It's absolutely cavernous. Um, really big with really big drawers. This is the bathroom area, just put that over there. Large loo with the um, sink and plethora of cupboards in here. In the back here we've got ourselves a fixed island bed with cupboards surrounding it. It looks really, really smart. So guys, we've made it inside the Eldis Affinity 574. A perfect caravan for a couple or a, uh, a family. We've obviously got two front benches here in parallel for guys. And this is running the Ozio mattress, uh, the Ozio foam, which means they're really, really soft. And if we go into this seat, they're really, really plump, really, really comfortable. You get four scatter cushions with a caravan, which is brilliant. Obviously, triple front window there, the large skylight, and then the sky view roof light above. Larger windows on the side. And we've got these lovely grey uh, cupboards, which are all positive catched, which is something that really uh, sets these vans apart. Very simple feature, but very, very effective. This beautiful white and black um, worktop here, with the large square sink. Uh, the large tap, just to the side. The Thetford uh, dual fuel oven and grill, and that is... Uh, that's really nice. Lots and lots of storage for the kitchen. The Russell Hub's microwave. Um, the smaller automatic fridge to the left. The massively huge larder cupboard in here. Uh, which is also your wardrobe. And that also houses the Audi wet central heating boiler. Very ingenious space. One thing to note, this caravan does run, say, the Audi wet central heating boiler. So in walking through into the back of the caravan, we find ourselves in the bathroom, as this is a centre washroom rear single bed van. As you can see, we've got a large shower cubicle running the Eco Camel uh, Orbit shower head. And to the, as you come in from the back, we've got the right hand side, we've got the bathroom with the Thetford C250 toilet, Audi wet central heating radiator, a very small and possibly um, unusable sink, a mirror there, and some large cupboards. Moving into the back of the caravan, we've got two large single bed uh, there. This caravan has tons of USBs placed around it, which is brilliant. A large chest in the middle and many cupboards. Six in fact, which is, uh, which is brilliant. We've also got a coax and satellite point uh, 
a sliding door here and that um, means that we can shut the van off and make this a totally enclosed space. Mattresses are really nice and long and even a person of my length can fit on them. we've made it into the Buccaneer Cruiser which is just under £35,000 and weighs in at a massive two tonnes. So this is really the creme de la creme of the UK caravan market. It's eight foot wide uh, and really you can fill the space. This has the optional wraparound seating and even though it has wraparound seating it still has cupboards below which is um, a brilliant feature. These seats are really, they're supportive but really, really soft. Uh, they're sculptured, so they make you feel really, really comfortable. Got the sky view light over that top, um, which lets all that light in, and really makes this van a really bright and airy place to sit. Got LEDs over the top and under the neath, and again, it makes it a really, really nice place to be. Moving around this way down to the kitchen, uh, it's a massive kitchen, it's just massive. If we look, we've got this, huge worktop space no need for a kitchen extension here um, because why would you need them with this much preparation space lots of space for your um, kitchen bits and positive catches and all the cupboards which is a brilliant feature huge sink don't know if you could get a washing up bowl to fit that but that'd be another story beautiful caraflow tap tons of drawers and they're really really massive what this cavernous cupboard in there of these slide outs who knows what you could put in there this has Audi wet central heating and it has their brand new underfloor system uh, which is it, brilliant it really is brilliant on this side of the kitchen we have a large cupboard over the top uh, put your cereals in a microwave at a height that I even think grandma could get to this microwave a fridge that, well, you could fit how much food in there. A massive freezer. Place to put your TV down there. And next to us here is the Fetford oven. So we've got ourselves a three burner gas hob with an electric hot plate. Dual flu um, oven and grill. Cupboard down below to put where you're at bits and bobs in and this is really where the van comes into its own this is the cruiser and this is the island bed version because it's the cruiser now this can be extended up to 400 millimeters of floor space look look at that amount there that is huge got ourselves a really comfortable bed and that i can map our oh, memory foam as well that feels seriously comfortable again the bed pulls out but even when it's pulled out you've still got tons and tons of space his and hers wardrobe on each side of the bed. And we've got these amazing positive catched um, cupboards. You just pull down the handle and up we come. Massive cupboards in there. Lovely mirror, which is a brilliant touch. Something that our van hasn't got that was really cool. This really um, beautiful bathroom. And um, the C250 toilet, as in every caravan. Uh, everyone loves a fake um, broom and blind. We know how much we love those. Two cupboards over the top. Radiator for the Audi White Central Heating. Large bowl with mixer tap and cupboard belief. And this absolutely cavernous um, shower with sliding door. Tile effect um, splashback. The Eco Camel uh, Orbit shower head and a non-slip bottom. 
So that was the Buccaneer Cruiser. <laughs> So guys, thanks for watching part one of my NEC uh, videos. Tomorrow there'll be part two out, so I'll see you in that video. Alright, bye!